Welcome to Agenda Edina, a news program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. Don't be surprised if you see chickens along with your neighbor's dogs and cats. Hen chickens have been added to the list of animals Edina residents are allowed to keep. Furthering its commitment to facilitating more options for local food, the City Council recently voted to allow residents to keep up to four hens per household. The Energy and Environment Commission's Local Food Working Group recommended the change in local law. The group cited that chickens are a good source of fresh eggs and fertilizer, can serve as companion animals, and help with garden pest management, given their appetite for insects. They're a great source of integrated pest management. We've got to use fewer pesticides. We recently passed an ordinance allowing honeybees. Pesticides harm honeybees, native bees, other pollinators like butterflies and uh, even hummingbirds. Well, chickens love insects and they'll eat up Japanese beetles, grasshoppers, slugs, uh, wood ticks. Because there is little injury, health, or safety risk in raising chickens, no license, registration, or permit is required. At least 24 other metro cities allow the keeping of hen chickens, including neighboring Bloomington, Minneapolis, and St. Louis Park. A team of residents is working to determine how the west side of France Avenue should look in the future. The city kicked off a planning process for the greater Southdale area late last month. Steve Hobbs and Joanne Olson represent the planning commission on the newly formed work group. Steve Brown, Peter Fitzgerald, Lori Severson, and Michael Schroeder were appointed to the group by the City Council. Six volunteers nominated and selected by the community at the kickoff meeting were also selected to serve. The group has 60 days to develop guiding principles for future development. Initial emphasis will be on future development on the west side of France Avenue. It's an area that allows both commercial office and residential so it's a mixed-use area I think what we're what we need to settle on is the height and density you know and what that means for traffic impacts utility impacts so a lot of it is just about the design of how that's going to look ultimately the goal of the work group is to develop a tool that would guide a development process for the whole Southdale area and demonstrate methods that might be used during the comprehensive plan update in 2018 Edinburgh Park recently began working with several organizations to offer pool time for a rehabilitation program that helps veterans Edina 16's Matt Koskinen brings us the story these veterans are paddling not only to stay afloat, but make progress on their healing paths. I had a TBI a long time ago and it's good for me to help me to get my control back and, and work on uh, memory and things like that. Polytrauma refers to people who experience injuries to multiple body parts and organ systems. This often includes TBI, or traumatic brain injury. Um, we're highlighting kind of our polytrauma population are the veterans that we serve through this program. So it's part of an interdisciplinary care team um, goals as well as a therapeutic modality utilizing the pool and the therapeutic qualities of the water to benefit the needs of the veterans in part of their healing process and recovery. Edinburgh provides the pool. Three Rivers Park District provides the kayaks and staff. Team River Runner provides the program and the VA hospital provides the participants. This is just really an exciting program for us. We haven't done something like this before and we're always looking to make the best use of the pool here at Edinburgh Park, so we're thrilled to have this program going on. Brian Jensen from the Minneapolis chapter of Team River Runner explains their founder's mission. According to Joe Marnini is get butts in boats. He wants to get wounded veterans um, into kayaks. And they are doing just that at Edinburgh. Participant Nathan Carrington got in a kayak for his first time just a few weeks ago. It has been a great time. I have enjoyed it a bunch. And then we get out outside too in the summer months. We go to lakes and local rivers. Robin Bluebird Alexander, who has short-term memory loss, keeps the atmosphere light with her humor. Well, I like being in the water. Even though, I, even though I'm a robin, I still like it in the water. You get to see the vets for the first time doing something that they absolutely love. They're used to the challenge and the risk. That's probably the reason why a lot of them join the military. And now they get to maybe experience a little bit of that. This is just kind of the best 
programs that I have been to. But the gains have been so great when it just comes to the physical, the social, the emotional benefits and just the community collaboration um, moving forward. I just twist your hips. See how easy that was? Yeah. This is happening. I can't believe this is happening, man. It's like, wow, there's nothing going on here, you know? So do it again. I get out and be social. Um, I get to meet no, new people and um, just have a lot of fun. At Edinburgh Park, I'm Matt Koskinen, Edina 16. After the success of the first sessions in Edina, the program plans to continue its use of the Edinburgh Pool in the future. Visit www.teamriverrunner.org for more information on participating or volunteering in the program. Thanks for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.